22nd of May 2022, International Day for Biological Diversity, Building a Shared Future for All. So I'd like to start this off by talking about what is biological diversity, also known as biodiversity. So biodiversity, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, is the variety of plant and animal life in the world or in a particular habitat, a high level of which is usually considered to be important and desirable. So why is it important? Biodiversity remains the answer to several sustainable development challenges. From nature-based solutions to climate, health issues, food and water security, sustainable livelihoods, biodiversity is the foundation upon which we can build back better. Biodiversity is one of the most precious and important things we have. We tend to think of it as something that's just nice to look at and enjoy spending time in, but it's actually so much more. Without biodiversity, our entire support system for human as well as animal life would collapse. We rely on nature to provide us with food and clean water for a lot of medicines and to prevent flooding and other extreme weather effects. So much is provided by the natural ecosystems around us. They're truly vital to life on Earth. We think we can just trash one bit or remove a species and it'll all be okay, but the different plants and animals are interconnected in vital ways that we don't even always understand. Client Earth. Biodiversity matters. At its simplest, biodiversity is about living nature or life on Earth. Different genes, species and ecologies and as a consequence, the varying landscapes, regions and habitats in which they exist. Biodiversity provides food, water, shelter, influences climate, controls disease and regulates nutrient and water cycles. Biodiversity is integral to spiritual, cultural, psychological and artistic well-being. Biodiversity also has its own intrinsic worth distinct from human life. Humans are embedded in the natural world and so are part of biodiversity. How serious is the biodiversity crisis? The biodiversity loss crisis is very serious. Biodiversity is crucial to our future survival. Its loss is a huge crisis. We need to fix the biodiversity crisis to try and stop the sixth mass extinction that is taking place right now. If we don't fix the biodiversity crisis, there could be numerous repercussions, both to us and our part in the natural world, as well as the plants and animals we share this earth with. There could be lack of food and fresh water, more natural disasters, more zoonotic diseases, such as COVID-19, and a whole host of other things that we rely on our ecosystems for. Why is it important to not just stop, but to reverse biodiversity loss? It is important to reverse biodiversity loss due to the crucial job it does for us. It is important we reverse biodiversity loss to ensure that we don't lose any more and for resilience and help in the fight against climate change. Certain habitats like rainforests and mangroves take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. For them to be able to keep successfully doing this, we need to replace what we have taken away. If we don't reverse biodiversity loss, we are at risk of having isolated patches of biodiversity and no connectivity. This connectivity is vital for our ecosystems. What can we do to reverse the damage done to nature? So for this, I'm going to talk through 22 actions for biodiversity, and these are actions that anyone can do, as listed by the UN. So these actions are clean up an area around you, restore an area near or far, take pictures, not samples, help animals, big and small, Prevent the spread of zoonotic diseases. Plant trees, shrubs and plants. Consume responsibly. Save energy. Share. Buy biodiversity friendly products. Help someone stop smoking. Enjoy urban biodiversity. Support companies committed to ethical standards. Change one habit that is negative for biodiversity. Ask businesses to source responsibly. Minimise waste, learn about biosafety, support biodiversity friendly companies, support environmental organisations, raise biodiversity awareness, empower someone and also celebrate biodiversity day like we are doing now. For more information about these things and the details of how you can help in these areas I will put a link down in the description to the official page for you. Thank you for celebrating Biodiversity Day with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about what biodiversity is. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to like, comment and subscribe down below. Any questions you have about biodiversity or biodiversity day, let me know down below and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.